And can we just ask you a quick question? What did you think of Obama's speech? Oh, I thought it was spectacular. I loved it. <laughs> cool. <laughs> a cool He's so cool. What's the secret in the librarian's office? Anything you can tell us? Uh, the secret documents, of course. I was glued in front of that damn TV set on a Friday night, <laughs> watching well, you in the General Lee. So it's a real thrill to have you here today. It means you're old. I'm old. Hey, now you were on that show, I so know, I'm know, old, know, you were you know, older. Okay. I watched you on Smallville. <laughs> Do I want to know? No, it's streaking through an old folks' home. It, 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 if you live in a small town, there's only so many places you could do really stupid stuff. It's streaking in the old folks' home. I just want to clarify that. I did. Now some of your own singers from your own company are nominated. Uh, absolutely. Do you feel like a proud father? No, I feel like a proud older brother. <laughs> How can we reduce our dependence on oil? Is biofuel the answer to environmental issues, or is it part of the problem? I'm joined by actor and environmental activist Peter Fonda, as well as Josh Tekel, director of the documentary Fuel. So you kind of implied that there may have been questionable circumstances around his death. I mean, you think it wasn't suicide, I guess, as is commonly accepted? It was extremely questionable. Extremely questionable. Hi, this is Greg with my top five things to do in Nice. Number three is to go to the park on the hill, and your reward is one of the best views in Nice. A year and a half ago, we did our first show on parental alienation, and the response was like nothing we've ever seen. We immediately received dozens of long, heartfelt email from all over the country and even overseas. This is Greg with my top five things to do in Rome. Number one is go sit on the Spanish steps. And better yet, eat some gelato here, especially gelato chocolato. Leonardo DiCaprio does a pretty good job as someone freaked out by all the weird shit going on in this island. In hindsight, it's No, it's a, it's a very it's good point, to... uh, Greg, because what I noticed with a lot of these murder cases is there was an opportunity for the victim to get out. Hi, this is Greg. It is Monday morning. We're here at Hollywood and Highland checking out the behind-the-scenes setup for the Oscars on Sunday. One week and counting. I feel very fully nice. qualified to be <laughs> in the circus at the moment. <laughs> Ask him if he's proud to be a cheater from using steroids. So how prepared are we? Are we in a good position to find a bomb if someone tried something? You know a lot of gay priests. Oh yeah. There are a lot of gay Catholic priests. Can you quantify, I mean, in your own mind, what percentage you think? Let's say time for straight. You said you actually like the serial killer. Some of the serial killer is better than your boss. So. Oh, better, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Even though you knew that if they ever got you outside the prison, you might very There was well a good possibility, sure. I mean, boy, this is hard. <laughs> I'm getting a workout so in the kitchen. I'll show you how to do it. Okay. okay. See, um, oh. He makes it look so easy. Well, you know what? They have these cans in the supermarket you can buy. So how's everything on the show? Um, it's great. It's good. Hi, can we grab you there for a second? Hi. Hi. I'm feeding you. Oh, that's it, baby. That sounds good. It's such a difficult time for the country right now. Do you think he can pull it off? He's got a big job ahead of him. I think if anyone can, he can.